Commandments. Pro. All right, so we'll just go to the Ten Commandments you here. You got it. All right, okay, what's the first one? Number one. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, they are in chronological order. It's not like a top ten list. No, I'm, I'm just saying you know what the first Do one is. Do you know? Yes, oh, yes. Really? Let's hear it. You shall have known there are gods before me. Right, don't even need that one. Well, no. That's like a throwaway commandment. No, <laughs> no it's not. It totally is. No, students today, I mean, they see codes as bumper stickers. I mean, and there's and there's so many things vying for no, God. No, no, no. There's no other real God. Oh, I it's like God was like, hey, you can't have another one, but guess what? There's not one, so. <laughs> <laughs> We get that, but students are inundated with things. No, 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 and inundated. But here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing, okay? Now, here, if there was another god, like say there was a god of the Coolio, right? And I, I, so, don't, I, I don't, if we're really going to do this, I don't think that'd be a, a god. A god of the Coolio? Yeah, the students use that term. No, they don't, you don't. I tell you, yeah, we got Coolio. No, they yeah. don't. <laughs> they, they don't, you don't. They don't use Coolio. Get an urban dictionary, all right? <laughs> So anyway, say there was a god of Coolio, uh -huh. and so they had like this big first church of the Coolio, and it would be like huge and Coolio, right? All right? I mean, it would be so massive, there'd be like a lazy river going through the auditorium, through the whole church, and through the auditorium. Yeah, yeah, okay? So then like, even at like a funeral or something, you could just like float through, you know, and be like, so sorry for your loss. <laughs> And it would be like heated, like really heated, not like rock on guy who just swam by. Because you, know? you know he's the guy that seems like, hey. So it'd be like really heated. And then like their youth pastor, you know he'd be the coolest. Be like he would have the perfect hair and perfect facial hair, you know, and he'd like he like he'd like just be like jamming with them, you know, and then and then when it came time, you know, like he'd just slow it down and do like a Justin Bieber tune with him, it'd be awesome. He's a dad now. <laughs> Make no, uh, make for yourself an image in the form of anything in above heaven Hair. or on earth, beneath or in the waters below. Yeah, it's like number one again. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. This would be like anything you put before God: relationships, money, things, anything. The students, they do that. I mean, they put a lot of things before God. I mean, this is a great commandment right here. All right. Makes sense. Yeah. Do you know what would be a big one? Which like students? Huge. Yeah. Or people in general. Velociraptors. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> they are so. Worship worthy. You know? I mean, yeah, think about no, they're almost funny. a perfect beat. No, I mean, they're, they're all like this, you know? Like, these, little, these little things, and they're all like, you know, they're like. Oh my God! I bet people would totally worship that. All right. Let's, let's move on. All right. You should not misuse the name uh, the Lord your God, all right? Okay? Yeah, I guess I won't be texting LOL anymore. <laughs> Stop, that's sacrilege. It's, no, it's not sacrilege. Yes, L it is. No, LOL, LOL, it means... Lordy, oh, lordy. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Misuse the Lord's name in vain. O M G. Yeah. Orifice may be gassy. Seriously. I use that all the time when I'm at like San Pablo's and I've had a big Mexican meal. And I'll be like, LOL, don't stand behind me, O M G. Okay. You know? <laughs> no, it, it would be like, it would be like. <laughs> It would be like, it would be like, pray 
praising God and then using his name in slang, okay? Like, like we're friends, okay? We're buddies, all um, right? We have a conversation, then you go off and you and you misuse my name, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I got it, I got it. It's like, like we're hanging out, like we left here, yes. and I go in the bathroom, yeah. and I'm like, Phew! Somebody just dropped an Eddie in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be, what are you doing? That'd be misusing you your doing? name. Uh, did I get that one? It's correct. Nailed it! All right. All right. All right. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, okay? I mean, this is yeah. good for students, I mean, to know, okay? Just be still and be quiet to worship. Those are all great things. Yeah, worship and rest. I totally combine them together. I've created what I call my worship coma. <laughs> well, and, I, don't, uh, I don't know if that's the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I go into it. Anytime somebody begins to speak or sing, I just, I boom into the worship coma, you know? I, I mean, just do it real I quick. Just no, sing something and I'll just, no, sing it and I'll just try it. Just go, just go. Amazing. <laughs> Is, uh, this, and this, is a, this is a biggie for students, okay? Honor your father and mother, okay? I mean, that's huge, okay? Show respect. We know that all students have different relationships. There's different uh, household. What? I mean, honor. I mean, that's kind of, you know, objective. You know, you it's, know? Not, I mean, it's not objective. Well, how, not really. I mean, like, my, my parents, like, if I roll my eyes at them, you know, they think that's disrespectful. I mean, that's my parents, you know? You roll your eyes at your parents... At the age you were today? Yeah, since I was a kid. Okay, okay. <laughs> when they do something stupid. <laughs> no, that, that, that's, it's a good thing you're not a youth minister anymore, because that, that is disrespectful. How? It's disrespectful. Oh, come on. Okay, so like, if I, uh, if I were to look at my mother, okay, and I was like, uh, you know what? Your mama's so fat, uh, you know, I mean. I'm sorry, time out. Your mother's so fat. You, you know you're talking about your grandmother. The shoe fit. What are you doing? That's the access to big shoe. No, no, no. That's a big disrespect. Okay, so when I said to my mom the other day, I was like, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> disrespect. Disrespect. Come on. Yes. No. Yes. Okay, when I called my dad the other day. If and you I called said, your dad anything besides pop, father, dad, sir, anything else besides that disrespectful. So jack wagons? Yes! Dad, yes! <laughs> Here's an easy one for you. Okay. You, sh you should not murder. That's okay. I mean, I, in a, we live. What are you doing? Hey, that's an easy one. No, no, okay, okay, but what if? What if what? What if a velociraptor is involved? No! Yeah, no, think about it. No! They've got these little hands that are perfect for eating corn on the cob, okay? <laughs> and say he's eating some corn on the cob and you go to grab it and he's trying to defend his corn on the cob, right? But then all of a sudden he's like, you know? And he pierces your heart and you die. Is that murder? <laughs> if it's a velociraptor. <laughs> I could try to send the velociraptor over there. <laughs> Should not commit adultery. Uh, <laughs> we should talk about that at church, alright? No, I think it's the best place uh, to talk about in your church. Please. No, especially especially with students. I mean, they need to know that sex before marriage, I mean that, that it causes harm, it causes pain. I mean, have you ever met a student that um, regrets um, not waiting? I mean, there's tons of people that have regret. Not waiting, but have you ever met a student that says, I, I, I regret that I, I did wait, okay? I mean, we should talk about the divorce rate and everything. This is a perfect thing to talk about in church. Lost raptors are monogamous. I mean, <laughs> you shall not steal. You shall not steal, okay? I mean, that, that can be a gray area for students, okay? But the students feel untouched. <laughs> this is my wallet. Yeah, but that's my money. <laughs> Sticky fingers. 
<laughs> you should not give false testimony against your neighbor, okay? I mean, you should not lie. I mean, little white lies. We live in the gray areas on things. But again, we feel entitled to things. And I think it's great that we can teach our students that there's... <laughs> What's the That's your money. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and read the, uh, what's number 10? You shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his male or female servant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. We could go a lot of places with that. <laughs> but the truth is this. Of all the things we read, maybe what God's trying to tell us is he's provided for us. Let's be content and not try to get more than what he's given us and not looking at someone else and wish we had what they had. Let's choose contentment. And with our students, thank you for what you do because you are on the front lines and you're teaching them values, morals, characters, and you're teaching them the boundaries. You're teaching them the commandments. Thank you for your calling and what you do and for helping the students. Thanks for letting us spend some time with you.